this video I'm going to do some beat making using some of the new tools within Cubase 5. So firstly I'm going to come up to the media window, I'm going to open the loop browser and this is something they introduced in Cubase 4 and you can index your hard disk with all your samples so you can search for different types of sounds and it's always going to play in tempo if you've got a drum loop. So here's some loops, my current tempo is 125 and I'm going to push play so you can see this going on into the loop browser. If I click on any of these, they're going to play at the tempo. So it's a nice way to audition stuff on the fly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a housey beat out of this break beat here. So this is the one. I'm going to drag it over and I'm going to copy it to the working directory and I'm going to expand on this. So you can see this at the moment this will play to any tempo because it's a musical mode audio event and you can tell that by the icon in the bottom right hand side but what i'm going to do is i'm going to slice it up i'm going to double click on it and we've got here a section edit hit points i've got it flagged at the moment if it's not flagged you just click on it to make it accessible drag the sensitivity over and you can see it's picking out slices much like recycle does so i'm going to click on each slice just check i've got it nice and sorted out so that's good, and I'm going to slice it up by clicking slice and close. It's going to take it out of musical mode, so I'm going to click OK, and then we can double click on the audio part, and we've got each individual drum hit as an audio event. So that's the first stage. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up in the instrument rack. We're going to load up one of the new plugins called Groove Agent 1. This is very similar to the MPC style vibe where you've got drum pads. You can put a sample on the drum pad and trigger it and rearrange it. What I'm going to do is flip onto the voice so you can see this when we drag it. I'm going to pick up my beat, drag it onto C1, and now when I push these pads, you can see the sample is changing. So we've got the slices all mapped on the keyboard so I can play that in real time on the keys now. So that's that MPC style flavor. We don't need the audio anymore. I can take that away so we can start working with the Groove Agent one here. Now, what I'm gonna do to, to program this is I'm not gonna play stuff in live. I'm gonna use a new plugin, which is a MIDI insert plugin. I'm dropping this down onto the Groove Agent one track. It's called Beat Designer. And Beat Designer is a pattern sequencer. This is the same kind of vibe that you'll find all over the place in say Guru, in Ultra Beat, Microtonic, lots of these different plugins. So this is basically triggering the Groove Agent one. To audition the sound, you click on the left hand side. At the moment, the naming is based on the general MIDI mapping, but I'm not gonna change that. I'm just gonna keep it as it is. So here, if I wanna program it here, I just click, I move my mouse up to set the velocity. So you can see here that it's all maximum velocity. I'm just gonna push play. It's just gonna start running. Take the click off. Let's find another kick. I know there's one in there somewhere, and it's here. So I'm gonna set this on here. I'm just gonna set this one down a little bit. And let's find that snare. There we go. Let's do a maximum velocity hit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a nice little hit in there with the snare. And let's get some hats. Now somewhere, there is a, there we go. That's the hat in isolation. Let's put these on here, on the off beats. So have a listen to that. I'm gonna make this one lower. Let's do another one here. At the moment, it's a little bit too straight. So over here, we got the swing. Gonna reduce the velocity on this one. So you can see what's going on, you know, you can build up your beats in this way. The pattern sequencer, very much like the old classic drum machines. So the other thing that you can do that I really like is that um, if you've got your hi-hats, like this one over here, these can be really nice if you change the timing. If we take this slightly out, you see the slide, it makes them play slightly later. If we take the same with the, uh, the snare, let's move this one over. Let's give it a much more relaxed flavor. Let's have a listen to that. So that's working really nicely, but what we want to do uh, to get a maximum benefit from this is to actually have individual outputs 
at the moment in the mixer these are all coming out of one stereo and I'll show you if I bring the mixer up so it's here in an ideal world we want to be able to separate these so that we can mix them EQ them you know process them independently so if I drop down here I'm going to turn on the additional outputs and we can route the outputs inside the groove agent one to these channels so coming through here and I'll show you how we do this let's bring up the groove agent one here let's make this one kick let's make this one kick two I'm gonna do this one snare and then this one hat you know the hat itself has got quite a lot of low frequency energy in it because it was sliced and there's a little bit of the decay of the kick drum in there so we want to trim that down so here we do the routing you set the output here so that's the hat that's what we're going to have on number four so we say st4 and uh, let's just take that down and make that correct there we go there's the snare let's put that on st3 let's find that other kick there it is st2 so have a look now in the mix so we got the hat's got quite a lot of low frequency energy in here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the studio EQ just going to roll that down I'm going to turn on the low cut there we go let's make that just about 200 taking away that low rumble and let's have a listen to that I could pan the hat over to the left if I want to do that just adjust that kick down a little bit there, more control here. And what about if I wanted to add some reverb onto the snare, we could use one of the new plugins, which is the Reverence. So I'm gonna do add effects channel. We're gonna do a send and return configuration. I'm gonna go for reverb, Reverence. Reverence a really nice new convolution reverb inside um, Cubase 5. So look, that's ready to go. We're gonna take the snare, gonna use a send, turn it on, feed it in, and we've got now the snare with the reverb. So here we go. I'll turn it off. So dry. And then with the reverb. So we've got more control here. It's very much that MPC style vibe, slicing a break, programming a new rhythm with it, mixing it down in the mixer on separate outputs. So that's one of the, uh, the key set of new tools inside Cubase 5. Very good for beat making.